Hey guys, Sunny Skull YT here, and this is episode one of Making Your Own Discord Self Bot. So let's get started. First, what we're going to do is go to nodejs.org slash n, download the LTS version, the one on the left. Once it's downloaded, go to your search bar and then search node.js, run this, make sure that everything works. If it prompts you with any installment stuff, then make sure that you go through with that. Then next, what we're going to do is go to Visual Studio Code. And then you're going to see this little download button right here. Click on this code.visualstudio.com slash download. Download for whatever OS you use. Once you have Visual Studio Code and Node.js installed, what you're going to want to do is open Visual Studio Code. And then you're going to have this Visual Studio Code open just like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a new file. So go to Explorer, open folder. Down, or not downloads, desktop, right click, go to new, and then new folder. I'm going to call this one self bot demo. You can name it whatever you want, it doesn't matter too much. But once you have renamed it and you have it selected, go to select folder right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to click right here and go to terminal, new terminal. And under terminal, we're going to do npm init. Okay, so package name, don't need to modify that, so just click enter. Don't need to modify the version, so enter, 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 enter. None of that information really matters too much, but if you want, you can manually fill it out. But from here, once you've done npm init, you're going to see this package.json folder. What we're going to do from here is right click, new file, and then it's going to be index.js. So we have this index.js folder. Now, what we're going to do is go back to terminal and then type in npm i discord.js minus selfbot minus v13. And then this will install the Discord self lot package that we're going to be using. So as you can see, we got node modules and package lock.json. From here, what we're going to do is we're going to define the client. So const client equals require discord.js self bot version 13. And we're actually going to make a new client. So const client, not copper case, lower case, client equals new client, check update, false. We don't need that. Oops. So this all just defines the client as your Discord self bot. So what we're going to do for now is we're going to make a client on ready event listener. So client dot on ready async console dot log client is ready. Also, uh, you don't, it doesn't really matter what you use for, def, um, for inside the console.log, but I'm using backticks instead of quotes. So from here, what we're going to do is client.login, and then you're going to use your account token. So I'm going to get my account token right now, and I'm going to put it in between the quotes. If you don't know how to get your account token, then click on this video right here, and that will be showing you how to get your account token. So I have got my account token, so I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to be changing for the tutorial, so don't bother messing with it. And once all that is done, I'm just going to click Control S. 
and then F5, or you could go to run and then start debugging and then start debugging with node.js. And if everything works, it should say client is ready. There we go. So everything worked correctly. So what we could do from here is make a quick basic command. In other tutorials, I'm going to be showing you guys more advanced client on ready stuff, more packages in the next episode, and maybe how to make a command handler. So right here, what we're going to do is make a message event listener. So it's going to be client on message create async message uh, message channel message so this is a message create event listener so whenever a message is sent it will define the message as message so if message dot content dot to lowercase equals 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 test then we're going to message dot re oh, dot re reply test worked okay so now i'm going to oh my bad my bad my bad i had to typo in the code whenever you use to lowercase make sure that the actual content you're listening to to be lowercase it doesn't have any uh, uppercase letters in it i accidentally had it as an uppercase t instead of a lowercase t but if we control s and run and rerun this again client is ready and if i just do test test worked so this all works so this is the end of episode one of how to make a basic discord self bot so i'm going to be working on more episodes i'm sorry that this tutorial was pretty short there's not too much to it but if you guys did enjoy this tutorial then make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you would like to have your self bot constantly online self-hosted make sure to watch this tutorial and i will see you guys in the next episode Peace.